What's up everyone, this is Cybernut, and today I thought it'd be fun to open up some of these Yu-Gi-Oh! Prophecy Destroyer tins. You guys have seen me get uh, quite a few of these from different like Bai openings and everything. Yeah, I actually got these from Japan um, because they were actually cheaper that way. I still don't understand that. They're English tins though, of course we got these in Japan, I actually didn't. But uh, yeah, I got all these through Bai, so I guess I can give them a shout out of course. Uh, check them out, link in the description. It's a way to get stuff from Japan like you live in Japan, and believe it or not, you can find stuff that's from the U.S. even on there, too. So, yeah, that's what was so random. It was like a Japanese store got these, and then I brought them home, I guess, technically, or something, if you want to think of it like that. But uh, I want to see what I get, because this includes some older packs, and that means we have chances for, like, ultimate rares and ghosts and stuff, too, I believe. So, let's go on ahead and uh, see what we get when these come out again. Yeah, it was uh, 2012. Ugh. That being that long ago is weird to me. I hate those kind of memes that are like, you know... The 90s are just as far now as the, you know, it's, I, I don't know if a specific one on top of my head, but I hate those kind of memes, because I feel old all the time. So yeah, there's your what, advertisement in that. <laughs> Man, Legendary Collection 3. Sure would like it if that was back on the shelves. I would buy that, for sure. You get your little promo pack, of course. Each of these tins is the same, because then you get a Galactic Overlord, Photon Shockwave, and two of Order of Chaos. And then the promo pack is obviously the same. So we're just going to open up the first one. Prophecy of Story is pretty dang cool looking though, isn't it? I mean, seriously, come on. That's a cool artwork. Then Endless Decay. Steel Swarm Roach, which is pretty much the big reprint from this. Uh, Photon Strike Bouncer, another pretty big reprint from this. And Infernity Barrier, which I believe was also like a $100 card at one point. So there were some good reprints, obviously. I mean, it even says on the sticker for Photon uh, uh, Strike Bouncer. So let's just get to it. With Shockwave of all things first. Let's get a Galaxy Eyes, you know? Yeah, you're not guaranteed hollows with any of these packs, by the way. So, <laughs> we'll see if we do horrible. Let's see, Photon uh, Cerberus. Nothing on that one, unfortunately. Couldn't start off with a bang. Come on. That would have been nice. Alright, what else you got? Butterfly Yoke. Doom Donuts. There you go. Gaga -ga -ga Gardena? No, nothing on that one. I was hoping. Oh, yeah, and be sure to like and subscribe, by the way, you guys. It helps out tremendously. Because that really helps out with YouTube. If you can't become a channel member and all that stuff, which I, you know, would appreciate, uh, but that like and subscribe helps out a lot more than you think. Ancient Dragon? And, of course, ring that bell when you subscribe so you actually get notified. Otherwise, YouTube will be like, nah, subscriptions mean nothing. <laughs> So yeah, might be good to get some of these Insectors right now. They're getting that new support soon. Uh, we have, I can't read it through there. Um, Dark Blade, the captain of the evil world. Oh man, not even a single hollow so far. And last one, come on. That's the thing. We have chances for ultimate rears and ghost rears at least with these sets, but you are guaranteed nothing. have White Knight Queen, and oh, that's a sad starting 10. I hope things change. Was there anything? Yeah, there's nothing on this one. I couldn't remember if this is one of the ones where you get sleeves or, or what. I know I've opened it up recently, but I still forget. All right, let's hope every 10 is not like that. <laughs> that's how it goes with older openings. You spend more for them and you have less of a chance of getting things. Makes sense, right? Promo pack, and we'll just go through our booster packs. There we go. See one of the Insectors. Want Tail Dragon. Oh, we have an upside down card. Maybe that means something. Uh, Heretic Seal of uh, con uh, Convection, and. Oh, come on. <laughs> I was hoping that was a sign. It's a good card, good rare, but, you know. Upside down card, that's supposed to mean ultimate rare, right? Maybe. Ah, that would have been cool. I would have enjoyed it, if that's what it meant. Mini guts. Let's see. Well, upside down again. Maybe that's the, the whole theme of this tin. Uh, Rocket Arrow Express, and... Okay, at least finally a hollow for the video, right? Uh, we have Heretic Seal of Reflection. 
There, dang. <laughs> Just give me one, right? Good, I feel a little bit better now. That first tin is painful when it starts off that way. But again, we're earning our hollows today, so. What else we got here? We have DD Telepon. Aw, oh, man, I saw, <laughs> I saw Synchro and I thought maybe we were guaranteed something, although I couldn't remember if there was any Synchros that were hollows in that set. Are there actually? I don't know. That's Dexel, so they, you know, that was around that time when Synchros didn't exist. So, I don't remember. Maybe they're in a hollow Synchro in that set. Correct me if I'm wrong. Probably am. Evil Tile, uh, uh, Kassirno. And Gaga Girl! There we go! Okay! <laughs> There's a good Seeker Air! Finally something! Dang! I was afraid, man. I was afraid that that seal would be like our only hollow, if that, you know, <laughs> earlier I was thinking it might not be any hollows, uh, for opening up six of these tens. So that makes me feel much better. This is one of those cards, too, that definitely uh, keeps its value for reasons. <laughs> and uh, it's a cool card. It is actually a good card. So, yeah, I I'm pretty happy about that one. And Purple Thorny Dragon. I like this card. <laughs> That's actually one of my favorites from the set. Did we? Oh yeah, we just opened. Okay. For a second, I started getting a little worried because I was like, wait, did we? were we down a pack? No. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself already. No, no, no. We did good. Let's see if we can continue that, though. Reverse Buster? And ah. Uh, well, got a Seeker Air, so that's much better. I'll take that over the, <laughs> the first 10 for sure, you know? That is definitely the direction we'd rather be. I am hoping though maybe I can at least get an ultimate rare. I mean, come on. I miss ultimate rares so much. I know OTS packs have them, but they really don't, do they? I mean, does it really count as having ultimate rares anymore when you have to, you know, at least go to an OTS to get one and then with everything going on, that's tough to do. And uh, then they're really tough to get out of those packs. I mean, come on, I still want them in main sets at least. Or give me a set that has ultimate rares. I mean, we have collector's rares now and stuff. Come on, I'm just saying. I think it would be awesome. Let's see, Evil Diversity. Hey, since they got rid of rares, I'm just saying, you could throw in ultimate rares on there. I might even be okay if they got rid of Starlights and then just brought back ultimates. I don't know. I do like Starlights, but they're so tough to get. Uh, that'd be a tough one. Let's see, we have Insector, uh, Crossbow, uh, Zeta, Arrow, and... Yeah, there we go, okay. <laughs> you saw like sea monsters, so you're kind of open. Uh, we have uh, Queen uh, Dragon Jin. Very nice, this was actually a pretty good uh, XE monster back then. It's one that could come back, I feel like at some point, it's not a bad one, but there's just so many rank four options that some decks can actually use it though. If you're going with something with a bunch of dragons, it's still a pretty good XE. Just we have so many rank fours now. We have Gym Knight Emerald. One of my favorite gym knights, even though he's not the most useful, <laughs> unfortunately. All right, let's get a Utopia. Utopia is getting a lot of support this year. Photon Thrasher, probably the best rare of the set. Nothing else. And the last pack for this one. We at least got one hollow, but can we get two? We'll see. We have Gaga Ga Bolt, and ah, uh, unfortunately not. I mean, come on, when you think about it, it's like $20 for these tins. I didn't pay that for these now, but you know, they're old retail $20 and you only get one hollow. Eh, not the best. That's why I'm kind of glad we went back with that we're, you know, with mega tins now. They're way better value. And I do kind of miss tins like this too. Yep, same pack on that. Anyone need a promo pack? <laughs> All right. Let's see what this one brings us. Overly Owl. We have, uh, oh yeah, the Photon Pillar Pelopperative. I don't know. How you, I've never said it correctly. S surprise, I know. <laughs> but a good older XC monster for sure. Remember, like every deck using that card there for a while. I still use it in Duel Links every so often. 
It's really good there, too. Doom Donuts. Heritage Dragon of uh, SR. And we have Zet Conversion. There we go. At least that gives us an Ultra. Yeah, we haven't gotten an Ultra yet. So, and one for Insectors. Again, they are getting new support soon. And uh, that's pretty cool. Hopefully, it's not just the only support because they were in that creative card thing. I would like to see a few cards for them, you know, not just like one. I <laughs> really, I'm, I'm hoping to get some kind of announcement soon where it's like in the next like Japanese set, whichever one is next, you know, that uh, they just start revealing some Insector stuff because I'd like to see them come back. We don't see too many Insect archetypes. That'd be kind of cool. And since we're getting a new card, I mean, it would make sense for them to get a little bit more. We'll see. <laughs> it does feel like one of those older archetypes, though, that could come back. We have a Deep Dark Trap Hole. That's a pretty good rare, I think, too. And now with Order of Chaos. I remember opening so much of this set, so it's always seems weird to open it again. We have uh, White Knight Queen. And aw. The card looked a little darker behind it, so I was thinking maybe it was something. Our last pack. Come on. Whoop, focus. Uh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Make sure you guys can see the cards. Uh, we have Overcapacity and... Ah. Uh, nothing else on that. Unfortunate. Still fun to open, though. Again, I... That's kind of one of those things, too. Like, for the value, I guess it is better nowadays that we are guaranteed hollows. But I kind of do miss packs where you're not... Because it kind of feels like hollows meant a lot more. But then again, if the pull rates suck... I don't know. It's a double-edged sword, no matter. I feel like there's more tension in the video, so it makes for a more fun video. But <laughs> for the consumer, it's not so great without being guaranteed hollows. Let's see. Same packs, obviously. Give me something cool. Give me a cool card to talk about. We have uh, another Insector Crossbow. Then? Yeah, there you go. Okay, again, I was hoping because I was like, XC Monster. So, more than likely in older sets, that man Hollow. Shining Elf, I actually remember people using this one. It was a pretty cool one, too. It actually would gain some uh, pretty good attack. And for, you know, just being a rank two, it would become fairly strong in some decks. I do remember it a lot. And I liked its artwork, too. It kind of had a little bit of a... Legend of Zelda kind of thing going on. I don't know. Lord of the Rings even. It's when it kind of, I don't know. It, it's just something like that. I like the design and, you know, again, it is a fairly good card even by today's standards. I feel like that means something nowadays, you know? Eight years later, if this card could still be playable, I consider that good. Evo Diversity? Then? Yes, we did actually get, I was, I was trying not to get my hopes up. We got an ultimate rare and a really good one too, actually. Uh, this one is XC Unit. This is the one that was, uh, let's see. Yeah, it was the one where you get stronger uh, for the uh, XC materials on it. So this is uh, actually really interesting. I think this is the one that people would use in uh, Zodiac back then uh, because you could really power up your monsters with the materials and stuff. And it has like Shining Elf even in the art. So it's kind of cool to get those back to back. But uh, yeah, I remember people actually using this card back then too. And uh, it's a pretty cool one in an Ultimate Rare. And again, just getting Ultimate Rare, I mean... God, I miss these. Seriously. That's what I love about doing older openings. You can get some ultimate rares again, and it's probably my favorite rarity, even nowadays, with all the new rarities we have. I still love ultimate rares. They just look so good. So, that's awesome. I was hoping at least we could get an ultimate rare. I don't know if I showed the rest of the cards if you care, but there you go. But, uh, that's awesome. That makes me happy. Okay, I feel like we've, we've uh, hit our quota for the video, at least, you know? Like, I, I did what I wanted to. If we can continue, eh? I'm not going to complain, but <laughs> I'm at least glad we've done something good today, you know? Photon Booster? Ah, uh, Vanilla. I like that card, too. That one's so adorable. Now, Order of Chaos. We are back to you. What have you got? We have White Knight Queen, then... Oh, a Seeker Rare! Another Seeker Rare! Very nice. This card even got reprinted soon, uh, or recently. One that 
Yeah, Brothers of Legend. We got a reprint on this. So yeah, Insector Excabeetle. I remember people using this one a lot too when Necros came out because you could see summon for this and then get Quasar and then you get like a free Quasar. Front. It was so stupid. <laughs> it really was such a dumb combo that worked. I love it. I love combos like that that'll make, you know, that shouldn't work, but they do. And it's a great card. So yeah, there's another old card that's come back and uh, I could see it coming back again. It's still a really good one. So... And yeah, it has been reprinted, so you can get it a lot easier now, but, you know, hey. <laughs> Let's do even better, you know? Let's get that Seeker Ear one like that and use it now. Reverse Buster. And then even ending with a Hollow on that, XC Reflect. Man, I wish every 10 was as good as that one. XC Reflect 2. I don't remember this one as much, but, I mean, hey, an Ultra Rare. I'll take it. Way better than no Hollow. <laughs> so, sure, we'll take that. All right, now we're down to our last 10. What are we gonna end with? I should probably restart the face cam, but I'm gonna risk it. So, let's see. Go. All right, heart of the cards, help me out here. You guys hit that like button and subscribe. It, share your energy with me here. I'm gonna need it. We did really good that last 10, but I still wanna see if we can do even better with this one. Always do better, right? Ancient Dragon. Oh, nothing on that. Ancient Dragon, though, is a beautiful card. I actually like that card. Wish it could be more useful, but, you know, in terms of artwork, though, they hit that part out of, uh, out of the park, you know? We have a Tefnuit. Very nice. I'll take that. Another older card I remember using a lot. <laughs> now, Photon Shockwave. Okay. Give me that Galaxy Eyes. Come on. I, I want that Galaxy Eyes. My favorite card from Zexel. Come on. We have... Oh, yeah. Esteban, I think is how you said that card's name. I remember that being weird. Then... Ah, uh, I saw a fake monster, so I was still hoping. A Corno, evidently. <laughs> no Hollow so far. Okay, this isn't as good as the previous TN. But, with two packs left, heart of the cards. Help me. Come on. Let's at least not make it where it's, like, all rares. Let's not end on that. Come on. Evatile, and nope, nothing on that one either. One more Evatile now, by the way, after seeing that. And yeah, last pack. What are we ending with? Can we end with a hollow? Let's see. I mean it now more than ever, right? We'll see. We have Nijitsu Art of Duplication, and... Well, I'll take it. You know what? It, it works. Works 100% of the time. We ended with the hollow. There you go. We have armor ninjutsu art of uh, rust mist. So, you know what? I'll take it. We, we got at least what I asked for. We ended with that hollow. So, yeah. Also, speaking of like older archetypes getting new support, I'd like to see ninjas get something. I remember there for a while, they were pretty fun after Order of Chaos. But, uh, yeah. Tell me what you guys think out of these tens. Did we do well? I think we did pretty good. We got two secret rares and ultimate rare. I consider that a win. Honestly, I I'll take that. And some good secret rares too. And a good ultimate rare. You know, that's even better. So, I think we did really well. I hope you guys agree. And uh, let me know too whether openings I should do. I want to do more older openings. Older packs are getting easier to find now. We're a little less crazy in the world right now. So, hopefully that sticks. And <laughs> we can continue being less crazy. But... Let me know what you guys like to see. I'll try to hunt it down for a future video. Thank you guys for watching. Again, like, subscribe, ring the bell, become a channel member if you haven't already, and be safe out there too, of course. Again, the craziness. And of course I will catch you guys later. See ya.